Hi, and welcome to Hawaii Living. I will be your host. You can call me Sue. And today, we're going to be taking a we're going to take a uh, a walk through of the Moana Hotel in Waikiki. And um, this hotel is the very first hotel that was ever built in uh, Waikiki back in the day. And it's considered to be the, the first lady of uh, Waikiki. It says here on the placard, the first lady of Waikiki, because it was the first hotel built. It says it on there. It says it opened on March 11th, 1901. And has a photograph of what it looked like back in the day. And you'll notice that um, there's, well, you can't see it in this here, but there were there have been additions to this hotel since it's been built. And we are going to be taking a walk through and see how it's changed, you know, and it, it, you know, it's literally um, like a museum here. It shows how you know, it's grand history and all that. And uh, how, you know, how, it's a nice blend of the old and the new because you know it has like very all the modern conveniences like the Wi-Fi and you know the, um, the locks on the doors and they use those keys the, the card keys now it says vintage 1901 oh they he's the musician who plays in the lobby David Swanson that's his piano there and so Look at those birdcage uh, chandeliers, lighting, isn't that cool? It's all open like that. I, I found a, uh, saw a photograph with David Kalakawa and um, Robert Louis Stevenson. I think they were sitting, they were sitting in those types of chairs. I don't, I'm not sure if they were sitting there in that Moana hotel. It might have been in, at a, actually at his home. Uh, Kalakala's home, but see, so they have these kinds of things with the postcards of what it looked back looked like back in the day. In this window here, and you can find probably a lot of this stuff through the whole through the whole hotel about you know the different eras from 1901 when it was built. By the way, the front of the hotel is um, the architecture type is something called American Florentine. Which was, which is the same thing as uh, Iolani Palace. You check that out. There's little cabinets and all this stuff. Oh, oh, wine cabinet. Love it. <laughs> okay, so what, what's over here? Let's check that out. Oh. Well, eating place, right? Okay, here's good. A little restaurant. Cafe on the beach. Very nice. Let's go back this way and squeeze through here. Okay. Oh, check out the rug. That's pretty nice, yeah. A little white floral. And you got the Japanese tourist thing. They got their own little offices. And we're going to head on down to the one side here. And by the way, give us a sub uh, please subscribe and get, click that little bell there for the notica notifications when we put up other videos. Oh, th there's an art gallery on the opposite side of this door, by the way. You can, you can see it from the street. But isn't this beautiful? Isn't this do door really beautiful with the wood? So this is the original hotel right here, but as I said, they've they've added on to it over the years. So there's another building that we're heading towards that was an addition to the Moana Hotel. But I love these these wooden doors; they're really awesome. So, and then of course you got you know the the TVs 
along the way. This is, you know, all the all the upgrades that this hotel has, has been through. Let's go down the ramp. Let's check this out. Creeps. I'm not gonna go down there. I'm gonna go down there. Looks like it's closed up. Okay, let's go back. Let's turn around and go back here. Oh, look at this nice cabin. It's all wood and everything. The glass. I wonder what they had in there. Hmm. Look at it. Okay, so let's take a left turn. Very Hawaiiana, the carpet is. Yeah. Oh, check this out. Hey, they got a. They got a, a little chapel here, the Moana Chapel. The, yeah, I bet you it's a wedding chapel. Yeah. Oh, nice seats. Love it. Let's check out... Uh, let's go this way. Let's go by the ropes. Okay, so... It's out here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, the beach, okay. Okay, that makes sense, right? You have the wedding reception, and then you, they probably put tables out here and a bar and stuff like that. So after, you know, you get married, da, 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 da. And then they, they come out here and they have, they have the reception. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I just stopped to take a picture with these, these people who asked me, giving a little aloha going there. Okay, so that's, that's the uh, chapel right there. I'm sure, and then that probably opens up, and then they, the, the lady with the, the, the bride comes out with the groom, and then they take pictures, right? The photographer comes out. Oh, the little gazebo. Yeah, let's go over there. Let's check out some of the uh, beach cars. Over there. Let's go over there. Okay. Let's go over there. Let's go over there. Mm. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Oh, all the umbrellas and this diamond head in the background. Hey, look at the ceiling. Oh, no, it's, it's not the Sistine Chapel, that's for sure. Okay. But yeah, this is a nice, you know, if you're thinking of having a wedding or something, this might be something that you might want to consider. I'm sure it costs a pretty penny, though. This is the back of the Moana Hotel. There's there's Mr. Diamond Head. There he is. And a nice, beautiful beach. A lot of people on it, though. Yeah, it's the middle of the day. So. Let's go. Let's go this way. Let's see what's over there. <laughs> I mean, I just love the the architecture of these old buildings. You know, so, yeah. You don't see. There's no other hotel that has this type of look to it. I mean, it's de definitely like the turn of the century type of thing. You know. Oh, look, a door. I wonder what's over there. I didn't think he There's a guy came out. Oh, you know what? Let's make a decision. Let's go. Can we go in there? No, no, no. It's the back of the house. It's the back of the house. Shoot. Okay. Well, let's go over here then. <laughs> yeah, that's the back of the house, right? Oh. Right, due to a wedding ceremony. Okay, so that means that means when this door is closed, that means there's a wedding going on. But it's not. There's nothing going on. Okay. Let's go back this way. Those elevators they got that that kind of like yellowy, like a brass colored and wooden doors again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the Japanese tourist bureau thing. Yeah, 
me just came by here. Oh, look at that grand staircase. It's like the Titanic. We're going to go up there. Not right now. I want to go up there, definitely. Not right at the moment. Oh, wow. You know what this, this, this hotel reminds me of is the, um, the, I mean, I'm sure there's lots of them, but from, from my, you know, my past. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, this is the courtyard. The, there, they, I believe they used to do a radio show here. Back in the day, like the thirties, I think. Oh, we're at the beach bar. But they did a radio show her called Hawaii Calls, I think it was called. Back in the day. You can find stuff like uh, about uh, Hawaii Calls on the internet. You can Google it, you know. Another eating place. Very nice though. Look, check out that tree. That big banyan tree. I think they thinned it out a little bit. Because I, re I remember the last time I was here, it was like really, really thick. Okay, let's go back in, finish the rest of the hotel. This is the, like a centerpiece right there, with the flowers and all that. See, so you know, you notice you have like these, these two types of furniture, like you have that, those little overstuffed, you know, couches and very modern -ish. and then you have a, those old rocking chairs out in the front that kind of fit into with that decor. Martin and MacArthur. Hmm. Hey, I know there's another one of those stores someplace else. Hey. I wonder if this is like a concierge. I think this is like a concierge. Okay, so we're heading toward... This is the front desk? Yeah, this is where you check in. Check that out. So we check in, we get the elevators. I think this is the newer part, one of the newer extensions right here. Of the building. Okay, so you see that, you see that big surfboard in the back? That's like the, the original types of surfboards that were back in the day. Yeah, that's an old photograph of the um, Moana back in the day. And that's Diamond Head also. You check out the surfboard that he has. That's the, that's the old style. That's how they originally used to surf the waves. You know? And they have a little um, timeline type of thing. First, about the history of surfing from the ancient time. Oh yeah, check that out. See the revival of surfing at Waikiki. Moana Surf Rider Hotel at Waikiki. So I guess it's it's a little history of the hotel and of surfing and. There, there's another board, another ancient board there. See how, how really unfinished it is? That's the, that's a long board. It's the, the, the real old style. If you see the photograph, that those guys do it, and that's a long board. Wow, those are like the old kinds, the old style watermen. I think that's uh, Duke Kahanamoku there. The one standing underneath that funny red circle thing. I think that's him. But yeah, I wonder how they got that photograph from back in those days. I have no idea when that was taken, but... Because I wonder if they had like... Uh, you know, the, how the cameras were. I don't know if they were, like, really... You could take it out into the water. Oh, more of the birdcage lighting. 
Let's see, let's go down this way. Oh, hey, there's Duke Kamahamoku himself. That's a like a a photo stop, you know, a photo opportunity place where you stand next to him and take a picture. Can you give a little bit of history of who he is? Yeah, and that, and that uh, thing off to the right. He, he passed in 1968. Wow. You know, the funny thing is that I, I... Duke was before my time. But I've met so many people who knew him. You know, I've encountered several people who knew, who knew him. And so it's sort of like um, an in inadvertent or indirect brush with greatness, you know. Oh, the, those are those are interesting stories, by the way. I should tell you about. Um, I've had I think three three people that I met. Who met who knew Dukanamoku when he was alive. Let's check this one out here. Yeah. Accents, it's, it's called. It's like a little boutique store. You got clothing and snacks. Oh, that's okay. That's cool. Oh, he's Sleeping Lion. Sleeping Lion. Hey, Lion. He's supposed to be guarding the place. Sleeping. And he's guarding the recycle bin. Hey, here's another one. Hey, lion, get up. Wake up. Supposed to be guarding. I'm not supposed to be sleeping. I guess it's not a good idea to wake up the sleeping lion. Here. Okay, let's check this out. These are probably the meeting rooms, you know, where they have seminars and things like that. I think that's what these are. Okay, so this is just another passageway out to the pool. Okay, it's out to the pool. The pool, I guess, is, yeah, the pool is next to the beach bar. Let's see that. So that big tree, the big banyan tree that we just passed is right there. I always wondered why would people build a pool next to the ocean? Yeah. You know, I mean, you already got the ocean there, right? And then and you, might, you might think, well, maybe some people want fresh water, but, you know, pools aren't really fresh water. They're, they have chlorine in them and stuff. But I guess it's more of a controlled type of water, you know? Someone else there. Oh, oh, here okay. You have the the beach club. That's interesting. It's not open though. The beach club. What does that mean? Is that like a bar? Another bar? Let's go down the ramp. Let's go down the ramp. Okay, so they have all the elevators here. We have another centerpiece. Here, let's go to what's down here. Oh, it looks like it leads to the street. What else is here? Oh, another cabinet. Let's check that out. Oh, you know that that's for like um they have weddings, you know. I guess they're trying to sell people on weddings. Do, do, do. Oh, bird cage. You know the Hyatt Regency used to have parrots. They used to have, they used to have these cages on, on, when, on the lower floor that had parrots in them. Okay, yeah. This grid's out 
this particular one leads out to the street. So we're not we're not done with our tour yet. Let's go back. Okay. So you know all I'm not showing it, but uh, a lot of these things on the left side here are stores, but there's nothing in them. They're closed at the moment. You know the COVID thing. Uh, had an impact on a lot of the boutique stores, the small stores, you know, that depended on the tourists to come. So it ended up, you know, a lot of this, the little shops went out of business because they couldn't obviously pay the rent during that time. Here, let's go, hey, the escalator, let's go that, take a ride up the escalator. It's up here. I wonder if this leads up to the uh, second, the second floor, like the same floor as the, um, where we had the grand staircase on the other side. Does it go up there? What's up here? Hmm. Oh, that's nice, nice, like, nice green color. It's all green. Huh. What is that? Oh, it's a spa. There's a spa in there. It's over here. And up, can we, can we go up there in another floor? Nope, 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 it's all blocked off. That sucks. Okay, let's go back down. Right, what is this? Which which spa is this? The Moana Lani Spa. Okay. Let's take the ride. There we go. Let's take the ride down. Well, it's definitely nice and quiet up here. We need rest and relaxation at the spa. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the main area. You see those boards right there? That's like, again the old style from back at the turn of the century when they used to Duke, when Duke Kahanamoku right there. Hello, Mr. Duke. He when he used to do surfing when he taught. He, he brought surfing to uh, the world, you know. He was the father of surfing. Front desk, here we go. Everybody's busy. Well, that's good. I gotta check those people in. Okay. So let's head back to the main lobby. I'd go in there, but I think they might squawk at me having a camera. Mm, oh boy. Okay. Well, check this out. Now I remember what this reminds me of. It reminds me of the hotel in San Diego with the big red roof. The Hotel Del Coronado. Check out that chandelier. Isn't that pretty? It, it, it's from that same kind of era, though, you know, the Edwardian era, Victorian era type, type of thing. That's why he, here we have the grand staircase, finally. We finally got to that. Look at that, look at that beautiful wood banister. Got banister. They got those little knobs on them. Isn't that classic? Okay, let's uh, take, a, take a little walk of this thing. Maybe I'll maybe I'll slide down the banister and go back down. Nah. Check out that brass. The, I think is that brass. The handle. The railing is it brass? Oh, there we go. I love these kind of pictures. I really love these kind of pictures. I mean, you get to see what it looked like back when, before all the mess, you know, before all the concrete jungle was. There it is. That's it. That's the kind of photograph where you see the Moana Hotel without all of the other con con condos and other hotels around it. That's what it looked like. Isn't that cool? And then as things develop, we have buses. And
Mm -hmm. Those photographs, I love those types of photographs. You get to see the history of stuff, like, you know, way before things were happening. Yeah, see, that's the kind of look. And this here is a nice little colorized, I guess it's a photograph. It could be a photograph or a drawing of the Moana Hotel back in the day, went before everything came into play. And all the other, before they, they extended them, they added the other additions to the room. Look at this, isn't it cool? Look at the railing. This is a wooden box, wooden chest. Oh, this is one of those um, ledger things that they, how they check people in back in, when they went back in those in the 19, early 20s. Yeah. Check that out. Isn't that cool? It's seriously vintage, isn't it? Okay, let's see what that is. Oh, here we got a little panorama, which, which includes um, it includes the oh, check this out, little magnifying glass, and the thing moves. Moves, you can slide it. Huh? You can slide it through this little panel. Isn't that cool? Whoa, that. And this is all before the um, all the condos and hotels were built. Hmm, I wonder if that is the I wonder if that's the banyan tree that's out the back before it was um, even before the uh, Moana Banyan, yeah. Whoa, that's before the hotel was built. Or maybe that was behind, before you could see anything. You know? See these nice, beautiful uh, wooden cabinets? Ooh, there we go. See, they love, love, that, love the chandelier. Love it. This is um, how they used to dress to go to the beach. This is like the before bikinis that we have today, right? They show it all. That's how they, it was no frills, man. But they, they would give the uh, customers their own bathing suits, I guess, for the guys and the gals, you know? Check this out. Okay, this is a great view from the top. They even put little chairs out there. I mean, I, I'm thinking maybe I could, we, it would be great to do a live stream right here from here. Oh, you do some people watching. But you know, I need I need to get me some some, some subscribers. You know, subscribers. So you know, doing a live stream would be worth it. So I do suggest you, you know, if you're watching this, to, to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications and more people I start getting, you know, I might start doing some live streams, walking around Waikiki, you know. But that would be a pretty cool place to start, wouldn't it? Sit there, sit there and do some people watching. Yeah. These are photographs from back in the day. Of the Moana Hotel. It's hard to get focus going on. Yeah, but then these are in color. That's pretty cool. Wish you were here. That's what you write on the postcard right when you send it to somebody. And they got all these types of little hotel, um, you know, those types of things that you put in the, the could be part of a hotel. The keys and hmm. oh, hey, this is the original flagpole. Not the flag, but the pole that's, that is holding it. This is Moana flagpole. It was on the very top of the building. So this was the original one. 
I guess they replaced it. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Uh, are those matchbook covers? I wonder. That would be and pretty interesting. It says Moana Hotel Na Kapuna Night. Well, they had for the elderly, yeah. They, they had for the um, old people. We would have a night for the older generation. Okay, here's some different the during the different eras. Right, nineteen oh one, right there when it all started. Nineteen thirty. 1951 is when they had, they built that addition, I think. Yeah. In 1969, they built another addition on the other side. And here's that, that was the awning that they had in 1953 in the front. I wonder why. Huh. And then they had, you see that front part? That's where they had the awning. The historical room. I guess they show you the video of the history of the hotel. You see those records up there? I think that was where you know, they had, they I told you they had a radio show called the Hawaii Calls. I think probably they had they had recordings of that stuff. And they have the Gidget and they have Blue Hawaii. There's a poster of those with Blue Hawaii. Was, that's Gidget goes to Hawaii. Historical. I get some food. If you if you ever stay in this hotel, you should, that'd be pretty cool. Ooh, look at this. An old silver spoon. These are like the dishes from then. I hear a scrap. Cool. Really cool. Oh, hey, look, what's, it, what's going on? There's stuff going on out here. What is going on? Oh. Oh, these two guys. Sheets. So it makes it interesting. Back in the 70s, across the street of it. Oh, the shit. They're still going. Some people, I mean, you know, let's pick a fight, you right? You can't just let things go. Anyway, hey, what's this? This is a mail chute. That's like they had when you they like a mail shoot, I guess. Okay, so here we go. 
Let's take a little walk around here. Oh, <laughs> the rooms look like a hospital room or something. Well, that's a nice view for the dining room. But you see, they have the regular, the new types of locks. I'm sure they didn't have that back in the day. They have the ones with the, the key. The card key. I'm sure that must be a real challenge to have to upgrade a hotel this old. Nothing down there. Now this particular um, hallway, I'm sure, is only the original building. So the, where we came from before was the extension of the thing. So they have way more rooms than this. Way more rooms. I wonder what's on the other side. Love, love that chandelier as well. But as I said, this whole little area reminds me of the hotel, um, the Dell, Dell, is it the Dell, Coronado in San Diego, but yeah, as I said, it, it's, you know, it's, um, from that kind of similar era. Oh, here's Duke's st stuff. So as I was saying, I was talking about Duke, Duke Kanaha, Kahanamoku. So I know at least I known at least about three people um, who knew him, you know, or at least encountered him. The first person was um, my neighbor. I grew up with him, and he was a he was a waterman also. He's a legend. He was a legendary waterman. His name was Rabbit Keikai. and. You know, I grew up with him as my neighbor next door, and you know, I di I didn't realize he knew Duke Kahanamoku, and that he was actually mentored by him. So, here's the maid. The maid service. You know, she's gonna do all these rooms. Oh, it's a challenge. Yeah. Um, he was the first one. The second person I met who knew who knew Dukanamo, who was a guy named Fred Hemmings. And I did an interview with him when I was in college. And he mentioned that he knew, he was a, that he was a beach boy, and that he, he knew um, Dukanamo back in the 60s, you know, in his later life. Um, he was number two. And the third guy who knew... Uh, Duke Hanamoku was a guy named Don Ho. And so I, I met Don Ho. I, I didn't know him like a friend or buddy or whatever, but I, I, I met him twice. And, and, this, and we didn't necessarily talk about Duke Hanamoku, but he was somebody who definitely knew Duke Hanamoku. And, um, but he was also good friends with my neighbor, who was Rabbit Keikai. So you got this, all this like overlapping, and I did, and then I had the pleasure of, um, you know, having to make these people's acquaintance. So that's my little brush with uh, Duke Kahanamoku in sort of an indirect way, because he was before my time. Okay. No, no, we're not going to be sliding down the banister. I'm not going to do that. I might get banned. Get banned for going down the banister. <laughs> no, we won't be doing that. Okay. But it's certainly tempting. I bet, you, I bet you they've had people do that. How much would I bet? How many little kids do it? Hmm. 
Hey, somebody opened the piano. It wasn't open when we went up. Somebody opened the piano. Hmm. I wonder who. I wonder if it was that guy sitting at the table. Maybe he's going to do a show. What was his name? Swanson? Hey, check this out. Like, this is where, the, I guess, the mailbox, when you put, put the mail on the chute. Hey, it looks like it lights up and everything. So let's push here. So it is active. You can put mail in here. That is cool. And then check out that color of that uh, elevator and the dial on top. Six. You know, six floors, really? Hmm. I remember when I went to the uh, Del Coronado in San Diego, they have a birdcage elevator there, and it's the same kind of color, like that brass color. So let's go out here. Check out, see they're all those little rocking chairs? Those are rocking chairs. And they're on both sides. So you, while you're sitting out, you can just kind of sit down and rock on the rocking chairs and look at the people go by. Um, and then there's a ramp in front. For the, for the um, people who need it, I think. No, 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 there's a step over here. It's not just a ramp, there's a step. Okay, so let's head down this way. Mm. Oh, here's a coffee shop. It's a coffee shop. It's the Honolulu Coffee Company. I, ha I, met, I had a meeting with somebody in there once a long time ago. And they have um, another coffee shop that has a, like, a place where they process the beans and it's where the old Hard Rock Cafe used to be by the convention So that was the tour of the Moana Hotel. The first lady of Waikiki, right there. Check that. Out. You see the you see the flagpole up there. So that's a new flagpole. And we're gonna go across this. Oh no, no, you know what? I, I want to go across the street, but we're let's take a look at the extension of the building. So it's further down. But you know, like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to. If you enjoyed this video, give me your two cents. You feel free to comment. Um, if you've made it through to this far, anyway. Congrats. There, that build, that, uh, that, those windows over there, that's the art gallery. Those are Way Island Island Art Gallery or something like that. You can see it through the window. Yeah, it's an art gallery. Painting. Oh, here Island Art Galleries. Okay, so this building right here is the extension to the Moana Hotel. So this is newer, but it's it was built like in 51, I think it was. And they have these little small boutiques and, and things like that. Here, it's called the Lossy Station. That's what this is. Like a, it's like a drugstore. And they got the pineapple. They have the dull pineapple uh, soft serve. It's like a... I don't want to say it's not, it's not exactly a... Oh, they have, also have blue vanilla. I definitely want to try it out. On another day, I will try that. Okay, so... Past here. Okay, so this was where the chapel was. On the opposite side of those windows and doors. I think there used to be there. Check that out. See that? That's how, a lot newer, right? It's a lot newer. Even though it was built in the 50s, it's still a lot newer than the other part of the hotel. Which kind of shows you the full extent of, you know, the, when it comes to the architect, architecture 
how it differs throughout the ages, right? Um, from the from the early 1900s to say the mid 1900s. By the way, that is the police station, the Waikiki substation, and this area here was a place where they had surfboards, and it caught somebody set it on fire. Not once, but twice. Not the same person, but it got set on fire, and it was all the side of the building was all torched. Get crazy people out there, I swear. So then they, I think they decided they weren't going to put surfboards there anymore. And it's kind of weird, yeah? I mean, they're right next to the police station. But they still managed to do an arsonist thing. Okay, so I'm going to go across the street and give you the big view of the hotel. And one day we will stop over here and do the double serve, or, or at least the um, blue vanilla ice cream cone. This is Kalakaua Avenue, by the way. Kalakaua. And this is a four-way cross. You can see it, it, the paint is kind of faded already, but um, people, pedestrians can cross in all directions. Or an all-way cross, I guess you could call it. Yep. Give us a like, subscribe, and click that notification button. We got a, I got other videos I'm going to be uploading pretty soon. Including, you know, some events that are happening. So let's get on over. Uh, light change. The building, by the way, behind this little... Um, is the Princess Kailani Hotel, and we will take a tour of that one day. But this place here is called Hawaiian Casuals. Uh, back in the 70s, it was a little diner called the Minute Chef. And then they also had a, like a, a wax museum over here, too. I think there's a theater in the back now. Okay, here you go. That's the front view of the modern day Moana Hotel. And it's extension. Extension on that side, and there's another extension on the back right there. You see that building, that tall building behind? Mahalo for watching. Please give us a like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified of future videos. And maybe we'll be doing some live streams too if I can get enough subscribers. Yeah, invite your friends.